So do you remember last year when they had an episode with worms as the monster? That was weird, right? Well, this year we've got lawn gnomes. Lawn gnomes. This can only lead to great things. So our story starts with Joe and Mindy's dad bringing home lawn gnome ornaments. And everybody just loves them for some reason. And with these guys in the backyard, we are a cinch to win a summer garden contest, am I right? Yeah, and at Christmas we can dress them up as elves. Dress them up? They're solid hunks of porcelain. How do you plan on accomplishing that exactly? I guess this whole backyard contest is a big deal for some reason. Their next door neighbor, who they call the Colonel, is their main competition. Hey, kids, come on. The Major is entitled to his opinion. I don't need your permission. The contest judges will tell you which garden is best. When they see my impeccable flower beds, my immaculate lawn, my flawless melons. Good night, everybody. That summer garden award is marching straight home. Rich white people problems. We'll see about that. Let me say this loud and clear. If anything happens to my garden, I'll be looking for him. Did he really just threaten to kill a kid over some flowers? Oh, ruined. They're totally ruined. Well, take it easy, Major. I'll... Take it easy! Look at this! The next morning, Colonel Crazy shows up throwing a bitch fit over his melons being ruined. Joe swears he didn't do it, though. I warned you to stay out of my garden. But I didn't go in the garden. Burton, it's gonna take more than dirty tricks for you to win this contest. Wow, way to stick up for your son, you pansy. You just try coming in my yard again. I'll be waiting next time, son. Yes, sir, you can bet that. Make his knuckles bleed. Melon seized? Wow, okay. Not even gonna try and be clever, huh? Not gonna take this opportunity to play with our minds and make us doubt if it's really the gnomes or not. Kinda reminds me of that movie Child's Play with the little Chucky doll. They. They could have done a whole, like, mess with your mind kind of thing, make you second guess if it was really the doll, or if this girl was just going nuts, or whatever. And, uh, and then they do a scene like this. I said talk to me, damn it, or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire! You stupid bitch, you filthy slut! Joe tries staying up really late to catch the gnomes red-handed, and, of course, he brings his sister Mindy with him. What are you doing? Who's that? I don't know. I think he came from the back. In the backyard. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Wait, why are there three? What, where'd the other one come from? What, four? These things are multiplying with every shot. So the gnomes start making out, and then Joe discovers their weakness. Look what you did! That's it! The light freezes them! Why does everyone bang on flashlights in movies and TV? Like, is that supposed to help the flow of electrons better? That's like if I tried to start my car by lighting on fire. So ironically, the colonel's security system ends up saving the day and the kids take off. And now it's time for the most important plot point of all. Who wins the rich white people contest? It was a most difficult decision, Mr. Burton. We love your inventiveness and the way you mix the natural world with whimsy and fantasy. We've never seen another garden like it. But then we saw... Well, it was so... so jarring, so... so ugly. That hideous lawn ornament. Hang on a 
second. Let me see something. Bench in the, bench in the long run. What were they getting revenge on? 